Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I do these videos just to educate women more on how their bodies work and function so that you can feel your best and achieve your goals using your hormones to work with you instead of fighting against them. Now I am doing a fertility series right now where I'm talking about all things fertility and infertility, really just getting down to the nitty gritty of the information that women need to help understand this tough, tough topic. Um, it is a tough topic because there's not a lot of great information out there. Hi, Katie! Um, and sometimes it can feel very defeating when you are trying to learn more, do more, all these things. Because you may seem like you feel like you read the same information over and over again. So I am going to be diving into specific things that are not out there already. Some other things that you can do to really help your body get to the healthiest place fertility-wise. So... Um, I'm going to put a link below this video. If you have questions that you need answered, you can set up a call with me for free. That way I can help you navigate and figure out some great next steps to go. I'm also going to put a link below so that you can get the top five supplements that you may be missing for the best fertility for your body. So click the link, free download. Um, I talk about what the supplements are, why you should be taking them, and how they're gonna help with your fertility. And then I do have a new program that I am doing. Um, it is a female fertility uh, challenge. So if you have questions about that, you can let me know. Um, and I'm also doing a webinar. If you guys want info on that, I'll, I'll send you the info, but I'm not quite releasing when it's on Sunday. It's on Sunday, I'm doing a webinar, diving into this. but. This is gonna be really, really important. Um, I'm, I'm gonna talk about some of these things here. And I know I just put down blanket issues here on fertility. I'm gonna chunk it down and talk about what it is specifically. Um, I do have a book, The Female Fat Solution, which is on Amazon. I do talk about nutrition to measure hormones and cycle. That is really helpful for fertility and overall maintaining your hormonal health. Podcast is the female health solution and my YouTube channel and Instagram are just Dr. Beth Westy. So again, other places that you can glean a ton of info because I put content out in different places all the time. So diving into the causes of fertility. When you look at the causes of fertility and look at the things out there, this is what they get broken down into. There's an ovulation issue. There's a fallopian tube issue or there's some type of uterus issue. Typically they're classifying it as endometriosis and then there's the other, right? The idiopathic, they call it. We don't know why there's a problem, but apparently there's a problem. So when you're looking at things like this, you're like, okay, these are like basically the lady parts, right? Like this is just the anatomy, right? This is the, I'm mean, like, sometimes there's a problem with the cervix or something like that or, or the mucus or something. Oh, okay. That's, that's usually more of the other category. Mm -hmm. Otherwise you're like, okay, in terms of female anatomy, uh, there, there it is ovulation it's you know we ovulate ovulate the egg goes you, you have your ovary you ovulate the egg goes down the fallopian tube and ends up in the uterus like okay <laughs> so so that's not uh sure right the, the tough thing is when you're looking at some type of fertility issue it, it can be really tough to say okay exactly what is it is it just one thing do you have multiple things right if you have a like blocked fallopian tube and these are not as common by the way then okay, you can get that rotor rootered out or find a different solution there, right? Okay, bada bing, bada boom, problem solved, okay? That's, that can be more simple, it seems. However, when you're looking at things like ovulation, if there's an issue with ovulation, what is the issue? Are you not ovulating at the right time? Are you ovulating too early, too late? Are, is the egg not optimal, right? Is your, are your hormones so out of whack that you're not producing the best, most healthy eggs possible. You know, um, it is it is one of those things that can be very, very fleeting uh, because you can get a really heavy period and have really bad problems there that can signal that there's something wrong with ovulation or you can not have a period and skip it and oh, yep, problem with ovulation, you know? Um, so there, it's very, very tough to just say, oh look, there's an ovulation issue without really signifying what it is. Are there hormones behind it, not supporting it? not supporting this whole process, you know, that's the deeper level of looking at. So these are the things that I chat with women about to help you realize your body is giving you the cues and signals that it needs to really uncover what's happening. And by looking at things like this, you can understand, oh my gosh, this is what I'm missing for my system and what I can focus on to improve it, to really see and feel differences in your own physiology. It's really, really a cool process to go through. Um, 
endometriosis is the other one. Holy cow, endometriosis. Ugh. If there was one thing that is the most frustrating for women to put up with, endometriosis. Um, oh, PCOS gets put into this category here a lot too. Um, endometriosis, fibroids, you know, that type of a thing. Those go into the, the uterus category down here. Oh, uh, it's dumb. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Katie, you're so funny. Um, when we're looking at endometriosis, again, it, it's so easy to say, oh, there's a problem. Like you, like again, with ovulation and, and some of the other things, you're looking at like the end result and saying that's where the problem is. The problem is in the end result. It's the endometriosis. That's the problem. Okay, but why is the endometriosis there? Why are you having all this inflammation in your reproductive system? Something else is going on that's causing that repercussion, right? Something's not in sync. Your hormones are not working well together. They're not playing nice and you need them to play nice <laughs> for all of this to work really, really well. So it's telling you this. It's like this blaring neon sign that's saying, warning, warning, warning. This is a bad problem. But again, it's people look and say, oh, it's this. It's like just the, the lining here or it's just the uterus, right? It's not just that thing. It's Okay, what's going on before it gets there? What's going on with the hormones before it gets there? How's the inflammation in your body? How's your fatigue? How's your stress? How are you sleeping? Because all of those things, those are the things that impact the amount of inflammation you have in your system. And when you have too much inflammation in your system and you have reproductive issues, that's where it comes out. That's where you're having, oh my gosh, my hormones get off and then that creates some of the endometriosis that then I'm having the infertility problem, right? So, so women get stuck in and where women totally miss out on finding the right, right solution is, is that you're looking at this tiny piece and you're like, you're just looking at your reproductive organ. Like, oh, oh, my, my ovary needs to work better. How can you make an ovary work better? Right? Like, you, like sing it a song, write it a nice note, you know, I don't know. No, right? You have to work on getting your whole body healthier, stronger, functioning the way that it should. And those are things that I teach women how to do. Using your whole food nutrition, using regular things, you know, managing your stress, sleeping better. It is not just, oh, I need to take this one supplement and that's going to make me ovulate better. This one supplement is so good for my uterus great. <laughs> but if you don't change your stress levels and how your body reacts to that stress, it's not going to change anything else. You know what I mean? Like it's almost silly to think about, oh, I'm just going to take this supplement, you know, for my fertility. That's going to super help. Ooh, okay. But if your body's so inflamed because you're under stress and you're eating too much sugar and you're not getting enough protein, you're not nourishing your body, stay you know, some women, they, these, all this inflammation issues can also cause gut health issues, right? And then you have the sleep issues or it, it all like kind of goes together. So if you're not working with your gut, if you're not focused on, you know, getting more nutrient in your system and say again, this inflammation also has a side effect of weight gain and inability to lose weight, no matter what you do. It's, and it's not about cutting more calories then, because that stresses your body out more, which means that you're going to hold onto that weight even more and it's going to cause more inflammation. <laughs> Who's stressed out just kind of thinking about this, right? This never ending hamster wheel of a oh, stress cycle that's causing more of the inflammation. That's causing more of the problem. <sighs> okay. So we're going to bring it back. We're going to breathe and calm and talk about what's really going to be the right step for women in terms of finding the right solution here. Cause again, you can't, the one thing that frustrates me so bad about women's health is when they're just like, oh, women's health is like a man's body, insert a uterus. Now it's a women's health thing because there's a uterus there in the picture. Ugh. Ugh. No, our bodies are so systematically different and everything connects to everything else. So you really have to focus on a ton of things here. There are sometimes I'll be chatting with a gal and I'll, I'll ask her specific questions and I'll be like, you know what? I think the main inflammation is actually coming from your brain. You had that concussion two years ago and that's when all these things started, right? So the brain is still not calmed down. Let's focus on some brain health. Let's focus on some non-inflammatory things for your nervous system. 
And then lo and behold, holy cow. And at the same time, right? At the same time, you still want to support those hormones being regulated. And that is what I teach through using whole foods, using, you know, seeds, things like that. So that as your inflammation is starting to improve and come down, your hormones are starting to become more regular because you're supporting it with food. It's amazing when that synergistically comes together and what happens then for your body, for your hormones, for your overall health, right? And it's not, again, we're not just then looking at like, oh, you can't fix endometriosis. No, you can't. You can't because that's, that's the, that's the end result. That's the, that's the thing that happens, right? But what are we looking at before that? How's the inflammation in your life? How's the stress in your life? How are you feeling? You know, what things have you been exposed to? Have you been exposed to any toxins or chemicals? Have you been really sick in your life? Have you had mono? You know, things like that matter in the female body when you're fighting with something like this. And if you're not taking a bigger look at, you know, a, a deep look at the bigger picture of what's going on with your body, that's where you're missing things. Whew. Sorry, I went on kind of a rant there because I got really excited. <laughs> but these are the things that I... I get so frustrated out there when I see things out there for women for fertility because this is such a such a hard place to be in. And I, you know, and um it's one of those things that not a lot of people talk about struggling with fertility or the, you know, it can be a really tough place to be in. And I, you know, and I have kids. I have three kids. You know, what I do talk about with my personal story, which I'm going to be sharing more about as we go through this series, because I think it's important for women to understand you're not alone in going through this and you're not the only one, right? When I, I had, um, I had a miscarriage in between my second and third ki kids and that miscarriage after that miscarriage, I got no guidance on my hormones or my cycle or anything. It was, I was not a healthy person at that point. I was very stressed out. I, you know, was not doing the best self care. Um, and I wasn't planning on being pregnant at that point. And I got pregnant and then lost the pregnancy, you know, or lost the baby. And then how your body recovers from that. And I wasn't, you know, they were just like, Oh, wait a couple of months and try and get pregnant again. And I'm like, is that the best thing for me? Like what happened that made this happen the first time? I know I was really stressed out. Should I work on my stress more? Should I not write? I wasn't given any guidance. So that's why I am wanting to get this information out to women to say, hey, you, this is something to focus on for you that you are in control of, right? Yes, of course there are things that are not gonna be in your control, you know? But this is something that you know you can work on and be in control of. And when you focus on the right thing for you, it changes everything. And especially for women that have had miscarriages because that's a really hard thing to go through too. You essentially go through like the pregnancy part of it and then the postpartum right away and your body has to deal with all this this fallout, this backlash from it, but without the baby. That's the hard part. And then to try and like rebuild it again really, really fast because you're, cause you're still trying to get pregnant, you know? That's the like whew, draining and devastating part of it. So I am <laughs> basically got, I, I get questions from men all over the world. I get questions from women literally all over the world every single day. And I love being able to share this information with women just so they can get, you know, some more knowledge. Right. And, and I, and I totally understand, but some of the information I have seen out there for women is so, in my opinion, lacking and actual helpful stuff that that's why I'm doing a fertility series. So I'm going to talk more about my story. I'm going to talk more about my frustrations, you know, after I had a miscarriage and wanted to get pregnant again. And some of the things that I see out there where they're like, oh, it's an ovulation issue. Is it, is it just like your little ovary? Like, let's just section that out and like, look at that, you know, separate, oh, separate from everything else in your system. No. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. And there's so many things that we're going to be going through and doing and talking about to get to your optimal hormonal health. So that way, when you know your body is working and functioning the way that it is supposed to, you are in control of how things go. You, and it takes the pressure off. It takes the pressure off of trying to feel like, oh my gosh, I gotta, you know, I'm gonna be ovulating here today, or I hope so, I should be, right? You will listen to your body's cues because you're tuned into it when your hormones are functioning the way that they should. It shifts everything in your body. 
It's a very, very cool place to be. So I'll put these links below. Like I said, I'll put a link if you want to schedule a call with me. We can chat about any questions that you have. I will put a link to the top five supplements that you should be taking for fertility that you're probably not. Um, very, very important. And then in that list, it also explains why. And then again, I am doing a webinar on fertility. Um, so I, if you have questions on that, let me know, but I will be releasing some info on that more tomorrow. So that's what I got for you guys today. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this information helpful, I would so love and appreciate you clicking that share button, sharing it with somebody else, you know, that could really, really use this info. Otherwise have a great rest of your day and I will see you later.